What if everything you thought you knew about Albanian origins was only part of the story? For generations, historians and archaeologists have argued over who the Albanians really are, the last descendants of the ancient Illyrians, or a people shaped by countless migrations through the Balkans. But now, modern DNA science has begun to reveal answers that challenge everything we thought we knew. The results are shocking. This isn't just a story of one nation, it's a story that stretches across empires, invasions, and ancient civilizations. A story of survival through Roman rule, Byzantine power, Ottoman influence, and yet, a people who managed to keep something deeply ancient alive within their genes. And today, we're going to dive deep into that genetic code. So, buckle up, because by the end of this video, you may see the story of the Balkans, and the origins of the Albanian people, in a way you never have before. Archaeologists digging through the rugged hills of the Western Balkans found something they didn't expect. Buried deep beneath layers of earth, inside ancient graves thousands of years old, were bones that carried a genetic code, a code almost identical to people living in Albania today. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, because it meant one thing, the ancestors of modern Albanians have been living in this land for thousands of years, far longer than anyone realized. In the ancient world, this region was home to tribes the Greeks and Romans called Illyrians. They were mountain warriors, farmers, and traders, people who lived between the Adriatic coast and the Balkan interior. For centuries, the Illyrians were thought to have vanished, absorbed, conquered, or erased by the empires that followed. But the DNA tells a different story. When researchers compared the genetic data of Bronze and Iron Age skeletons with modern Albanians, they found a level of continuity rarely seen in Europe. It was as if time had folded in on itself, ancient genes surviving through countless invasions, migrations, and wars. While the rest of Europe was transformed by waves of newcomers, Celts, Romans, Goths, Slavs, and Ottomans, the genetic signal in Albania stayed remarkably stable. The mountains played their part, steep, isolated, and difficult to conquer completely. They acted like natural fortresses, protecting small communities and allowing their ancestral bloodlines to endure. So, when we talk about Albanian DNA, we're really talking about one of Europe's oldest surviving lineages, a living echo of the Bronze Age. This is not myth, it's written in the molecules that make every Albanian who they are. Let's look closer at what scientists actually found. Over the past decade, geneticists from major universities, Harvard, Tartu, and others, have been studying ancient remains across the Balkans. Their results revealed a stunning pattern. The DNA of modern Albanians carries a combination of ancestries that date back more than 4,000 years, especially from the Western Balkan Bronze Age. This ancient layer forms the core of Albanian genetics. It's what makes them stand out when compared to their neighbors. When researchers analyzed samples from ancient Illyrian sites, near Shkodra, Dures, and the Albanian Alps, they found Y chromosome markers, or paternal lineages, that still exist among Albanians today. This is rare. In many European regions, ancient lineages were replaced over time by incoming migrations. But in Albania, the genetic thread remained unbroken. For example, the EV13 haplo group, one of the most common among Albanian men, has been traced to the Western Balkans since the Bronze Age. It's found across southern Europe, but its highest concentrations remain in Albania and nearby areas. This group represents a direct male line connection from ancient Balkan ancestors to modern families. Another major lineage is J2B-Z600, also deeply rooted in the region. Together, these markers tell a story of persistence, not isolation from the world, but resistance to replacement. Even as empires rose and fell, the core of Albanian DNA endured. Of course, Albania is not genetically uniform. There are subtle differences between the north and the south, between mountain villages and coastal towns. In the north, among Geg populations, the genetic profiles show slightly stronger traces of the ancient Illyrian highlanders, less mixed, more continuous. 
In the south, among the Tosks, there's evidence of contact with neighboring Greek and Mediterranean populations through trade and intermarriage over centuries. But these are differences of shade, not substance. Across the country, the shared foundation remains the same. In Kosovo, genetic studies show nearly identical results, confirming that Albanians across borders share a deep, ancient heritage that transcends modern political lines. Even in Arboreshe communities of Italy, descendants of Albanians who migrated centuries ago still carry the same core markers, preserved across generations in exile. It's an extraordinary level of genetic continuity. In a continent as mixed and mobile as Europe, this kind of stability stands out like a fingerprint frozen in time. Despite centuries of Slavic presence in the Balkans, the genetic influence from those northern migrations into Albania is surprisingly limited. There is some admixture, yes, but far less than one might expect given the region's complex history. Similarly, while Roman and later Ottoman occupations left cultural footprints, they did not erase the biological core. This means that the Albanian gene pool absorbed influences without losing itself. It adapted, but it didn't dissolve. For centuries, historians debated who the Albanians really are. Some claimed they were descendants of Thracians, others of Dacians, or even later Slavic settlers. Many thought the original Illyrians had vanished long ago, replaced by new populations. But the DNA evidence turns much of that old speculation upside down. The modern Albanian people are not newcomers. They are not simply a blend of outsiders. For generations, school books and historians repeated that the Illyrians vanished after the Roman conquest. But genetic science says otherwise. The same lineages found in Iron Age Illyrian burials are still present in modern Albanians. They didn't vanish, they changed names, languages, and empires, but their DNA carried on. It's like finding a hidden thread running through history, connecting the warriors of the Illyrian coast to the families living in Tirana and Prizren today. Every nation is mixed to some degree. But the Albanian pattern is different. While Europe was repeatedly reshaped by migrations, from Celts to Romans to Slavs, Albania absorbed less foreign DNA than most. This doesn't mean isolation or purity. It means that geography and culture work together to preserve continuity. The rugged terrain, tribal structure, and long independence of highland communities acted like a living shield. Albanians didn't stay unchanged because they hid. They survived because they adapted without losing their foundation. The Albanian language is one of Europe's mysteries, an isolated branch of Indo-European with no close relatives. For years, scholars argued over where it came from, but the genetic continuity helps clarify the puzzle. If the people themselves stayed in the same place since ancient times, it makes sense that their language too evolved locally rather than being imported by invaders. So what does all this really mean? Why does it matter that Albanian DNA is so unique? Because it tells a story not just of one nation, but of what it means to endure. In a time when borders shifted endlessly and civilizations rose and fell, the genetic thread in Albania stayed strong. That means the faces walking the streets of Shkodra or Jirokaster today are carrying genes that trace back to the earliest farmers and warriors who once lived there. The same people who built the first hill forts and carved symbols on stone. It's a rare connection. Most modern Europeans are a blend of many migrations layered over each other. Albanians, by contrast, are one of the few groups whose DNA still carries the voice of the Bronze Age almost intact. That makes Albanian DNA a window into Europe's past, a key to understanding how ancient peoples lived, migrated, and adapted. When scientists study Albanian genomes, they're not just studying a modern nation. They're peering directly into the biological memory of the early Balkans. Another powerful message is that genetics doesn't care about modern lines on a map. Albanians in Albania, Kosovo, North Macedonia, Montenegro, and the Arboreshe in Italy share the same genetic foundation. No matter where they live, they carry that ancient Balkan signal. In a global sense, the Albanian DNA story challenges a myth about history itself, that the past is gone and people are endlessly replaced. 
but the genetic record says otherwise. Our ancestors live within us. For Albanians, this truth is unusually visible. Their DNA bridges prehistory to modernity with very few interruptions. It's not about being pure, it's about continuity. About being one of the rare lineages in Europe that kept its ancient thread unbroken through time. For scientists, this makes Albania a living time capsule of early European genetics. For Albanians themselves, it's proof that their roots run deep, older than any empire, older even than most languages spoken on the continent today. When the Roman legions marched into the Balkans, they came not only with swords, but with cities, roads, and a vision of empire. For most nations, Roman rule meant transformation. Local tribes faded, replaced by Latin-speaking settlers, soldiers, and merchants. But in the highlands of Albania, the story was different. Rome conquered the land, but not the blood. Archaeological remains show Roman villas and amphitheaters on the coast, yet the deeper inland you go, the more you see continuity. The same settlements that existed before Rome continued to exist after it. People may have paid taxes to Caesar, but their families, customs, and lineages remained untouched beneath the surface. Genetic studies confirm it. Unlike much of Europe, where Roman-era migrations brought heavy Mediterranean and Near Eastern ancestry, the core Albanian genome barely shifted. There are faint traces of Roman soldiers and administrators, small signatures of southern Italy, Greece, and Anatolia, but they form only a thin layer over something much older. When the Byzantine Empire rose, Greek and Anatolian influences deepened in language, art, and religion. Yet, again, the DNA hardly moved. Empires came and went like tides, but beneath them, the genetic roots of the Illyrian highlands stayed firm. Centuries later, the Ottomans would rule for nearly 500 years. They changed architecture, governance, and even religion. Yet even their rule left little mark on the genes. Geneticists find no significant Turkish or Middle Eastern influx in the Albanian genome. The Ottoman Empire reshaped culture, but not ancestry. That's the quiet power of isolation and endurance. Conquerors could take cities, but never truly take the people. Every empire left footprints on the soil, but not on the blood. Centuries after the fall of Byzantium, new storms gathered. The Ottoman conquest forced thousands of Albanians to flee their homeland. Many crossed the Adriatic Sea, carrying little but memory and their DNA. In southern Italy, these exiles built villages that still exist today. The Arborici, as they're known, preserved not only their old language, but also their ancient genes. Genetic studies show something remarkable. After nearly 500 years abroad, Arboreshe communities still share the same deep Balkan signatures as modern Albanians. In a world where most populations blend and shift, this is rare. It means these exiles remain genetically and culturally anchored to their roots. Their DNA is a time capsule, a snapshot of 15th century Albania preserved across the sea. Even in Greece, Egypt, and the Albanian communities that settled later across Europe and America, the same pattern repeats. Though mixed through generations, the ancient Balkan core persists. It is as if the genome itself refuses to let go of its mountains. And that is what makes the Albanian story unique. Even in exile, the blood remembers. You can leave the homeland, but the homeland doesn't leave you. To understand why Albanian DNA stands apart, we must look at the neighbors. The Balkans are one of the most genetically complex regions on Earth, a crossroads of Europe and Asia, shaped by countless migrations. And yet, amidst this complexity, Albania forms a clear, distinct cluster. When scientists plot European populations on genetic maps, Albanians appear close to Greeks and Southern Italians. Compared to Greeks, Albanians show less Anatolian farmer ancestry. Fewer traces of the eastern Mediterranean migrations that shaped classical Greece. Compared to Slavic populations like Serbs or Macedonians, Albanians carry far less Northern European or Steppe DNA. In other words, when the Slavic migrations swept through the Balkans in the 6th and 7th centuries, 
they left only a light footprint in Albanian lands. Even modern Italians, separated by only a narrow sea, show greater diversity from centuries of Roman era and later admixture. In genetic distance, Albania stands closer to the ancient Bronze Age Balkans than to almost any modern nation. Over the centuries, Albanian faith has changed more than once. Pagans turned to Christianity, Christians to Islam. And yet, something underneath never changed. When archaeologists study ancient remains from Illyrian or early Christian burials, the genetic signature matches those of modern Albanians. That is what makes the Albanian story quietly profound. But not everyone is comfortable with what these discoveries reveal. In the Balkans, where history is often political, DNA has become a battlefield of its own. Each nation claims descent from the ancients, Illyrians, Thracians, Greeks, Dacians, as proof of authenticity, of who belongs where. When genetic results began to show that modern Albanians carry strong continuity from the Illyrian and Bronze Age Balkans, it challenged old narratives. It unsettled those who believed history had erased the past and redrawn the map entirely. Science, however, does not care for politics. The history of Albania itself, from ancient Illyrian tribes and Roman conquerors to Byzantine emperors and Ottoman sultans, every chapter has left its mark on the Albanian genetic code. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of the Albanian people, let us know in the comments. Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and Mirupafshim, goodbye for now.